Now we are talking about gynecological laparoscopic surgery. Laparoscopic surgery we know that uh, it is a keyhole surgery. So that sur surgery is done through holes in the abdomen. And in the abdomen the four ports, holes are called ports here. The main port is made near below or above the umbilicus and the right handed surgeon usually makes two ports below and above at two different areas on the left side and the right handed surgeon stands on the left side of the patient and the assistant stands on the opposite side where one or two ports are made on the abdomen. Different surgeries are done in gynecological laparoscopic surgery like hysterectomy where the uterus is removed, ovaries, it is also removed, it is called ovariotomy or oophorectomy along with the fallopian tubes, it is called salpingo oophorectomy. Previously the tubes are ligated and this is opening or reversal of the ligation operation, this is called re-canalization operation, it is also done laparoscopically. In, now it is in Calcutta also and different types of endometrial cyst and infertility surgeries are nowadays the top of the day where endometriosis is handled quite actually by the gynecologists where the ovarian tissue which are diseased by endometriosis which hinders the fertility and when it is the surgery is done after the surgery the ovaries start ovulating again and the mother, the lady becomes a mother again, so that the lady becomes a mother. So this is the scope of the laparoscopic surgery and the scope is getting increased day by day where nowadays the malignancy or cancer surgery has come in the field and so what not, right from childhood to the end of the womenhood at the end of 45, 50, 60 years, the malignancies are also handled quite aptly by the laparoscopy. So laparoscopy surgery, what are the advantages of laparoscopic surgery? Number one, there is a minimal hospital stay, whether nowadays daycare laparoscopic surgery also come in the field, whether patient is admitted in the morning and being discharged in the evening so that she can make her tea in the in home after the surgery is over. So, but in many centers, we usually take two to three days time uh, instead of seven, six, seven days of the open operations. This is the main advantage for the patient. Cost is also not that high for the laparoscopic surgery as far as is its advantage is there. And so the total cost is rather less than the open surgery. And <coughs> less pain is the most important thing is less pain. The lap, after the laparoscopic surgery is over, the patient can walk about and on the same day, she can go home walking on the same day. So these are all the advantages. So laparoscopic surgery is a renovation, is a innovation in the field of the gynecological surgery. So now what are the disadvantages of laparoscopic surgery? Nothing. People say some layman's language, they have asked me several times that whether the whole uterus or whole tumor can be taken out by laparoscopy? Yes, the whole tumor or whole uterus can be taken out by morselator machine. We know that whether the muscles of the uterus are scraped out by this machine. So the whole thing, never get afraid of the thing that something is kept in, the, in your abdomen after the surgery is over. Nothing is kept. The total aim of the surgery Whatever be the total name, the whole thing can be taken out. Suppose in cases of hysterectomy, the whole uterus, either with or without ovaries, can be taken out. In myomectomy, the whole myoma, that is the tumor, that is also taken out fully. And in every cases, laparoscopic surgery is a fantastic result-oriented surgery.